So folks, we are at the Mount Wells Regional Park today and we'll be taking the Sook Hills Wilderness Trail, which is part of the Great Canadian Trail uh, for a ride today. There's a lot of elevation gain. We'll be gaining roughly a thousand meters throughout the entire journey. And this trail goes all the way to Shawnigan Lake. And if you go further up, uh, you can get to Kauchin and Nanaimo. I'll take you there too sometime. Okay, let's start the ride now. I cast both for the love you there. I pulled right through my shirt. I was cold by what you said. Breathe the tide, all the light. So yeah, you have to be very cautious, there are wild animals here, yeah. it's complete forest, there are a few lakes here, let's see where we can get to today, always gear down, always gear down, without any doubt. You can encounter a black zone anytime here. This place is so wild. There is moss growing on uh, trees, whether they are dead or still alive, and also on the on the ground. Did you hear the sound of the black bear? <laughs> yeah. I'm not far from being one. Okay. So this is the railway track I was talking about earlier. It's no more functional but it's the same track that goes through or that used to go through the console trestle that you can check out in my other video. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so this is uh, another stream that we'll be crossing now. It's a metal bridge that goes over small stream. I think this stream supplies water, drinking water for the city of Victoria. Yeah, it's quite sharp guys. You can see the small stream. So through the night, a cast broke for the love you left. I pulled right through my chest. I was cold by what you said. Wow! <laughs> See those houses at the top? Wow, people live there. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. My friends are there biking. The only break in static is your call. view it was obstructed by the trees earlier but now if you look far into the distance you can clearly see ocean right where my finger is that specific ocean and even there of course it's difficult to figure out whether it's a cloud or, or the water but it is specific ocean and those mountain ranges there one of them is Finlayson 
uh, mountain lesson I mean and then there is also bear mountain just a breathtaking view and look at those houses in the distance so small tiny from here and that's how people like to live here I'll take you there sometime just enjoy this view for now Very few people know about these locations in Victoria. These are some of the most remote places. Yeah, there are people who live here. We are now looking towards Mount Finlayson in the distance. It's that one peak that you see very distinct from the others surrounding it that's Mount Finlayson so through the net a cast broke for the love you bear country now you can see that sign clearly says bear in area there are lots of black bears and cougars here so we gotta be careful we are going to a lake that very few people know about i'll tell you the name once we get there we are on our way now So this lake is called the Wigglesworth Lake. There's no one else here, just our group. In fact, very few people know about this lake. Uh, I think people don't come here because there's a lot of wildlife here. Like the boat said earlier, there's bears in the area, black bears. It's very quite close. Then I'm sure there will be iPhones clicking and I'll be <laughs> In my next video, I will also take you to the Niagara Trestle or also called the Goldstream Trestle. It's a really wonderful place. You will love the view. Yeah, check out my other videos and I'll take you there.